I've been in gatherings before where, um, where I've seen things uh, myself and I've experienced them. And I've never, I haven't shied away. I've been to a gathering once where I, I was told to speak on a certain uh, topic. I was given half an hour. Um, I was told, this is the topic, please speak on it for half an hour. I prepared a talk and went there to speak for half an hour. And lo and behold, there were, you know, um, uh, Nath Khans, you know, the, the many, many, many famous Nath Khans on the, on the dais on that uh, particular evening. And they all came and went and I was there and I waited, I waited patiently for many, many hours um, until eventually my name was, was, was called. And then I was told, <laughs> I remember by the state secretary, you have about five minutes. And uh, I says, you know, it takes me five minutes just to get warmed up. And um, uh, five minutes, and I've traveled to be here to, to talk in five minutes where you've had, you know, about five hours of, of Nath Khan, your praises of the Prophet Five minutes for me to teach the, the, myself and, and, and these people about who, whom the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is um, and, and was and how he lived his life. And I just decided to abandon my speech, my talk. And I, I just focused straight on the crowd. And, and, I, and I spoke exactly about what, what, what we had seen there, what we were witnessing, about the dangers of these type of gatherings where this happens. It's only going to, you know, uh, uh, push people further away as opposed to bringing them closer, uh, closer together um, and, and, and towards the love of the Prophet ﷺ um, and, 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 and these types of gatherings of, of mawlid and, and, and nights of praise of the Prophet ﷺ. So, you know, my, my advice is that, you know, uh, stop inviting those individuals. You know, we complain about them and say, oh, they come over from different countries and, you know, they take thousands and hundreds of thousands of pounds, some of them, and they go back. Whereas the ulama here, um, you know, are, are, are often shunned. Um, well, whose fault is that? You know, uh, is it, you know, kudos to them. They've got their business acumen, right? Uh, you know, they, they, they know exactly what they're, what they're doing. The fault is ours. We're the ones who are throwing the money on them. Our people are the ones who are, you know, showering them with, with gifts and, and, and then being disrespected by them. You know, they're coming to our gatherings and spending five, you know, 10, 15 minutes and taking the stage and then leaving, jumping from one gathering to the next. It's imperative, imperative that ulama, many ulama have spoken up, will continue to always speak up. But it's imperative that ulama, uh, the rest of us, uh, we take this initiative to uh, not only to shun those type of gatherings, um, to, to not have them uh, be a part of them, but also to train people appropriately. This is how you honor and, do, and respect the Prophet This is how you praise the Prophet It's our duty to do that. You know, you see, it's pointless me calling people out and then not offering a tenable solution. We have to find tenable solutions to the problems that we, that we face.